Hey guys, so first video tonight, and sadly there's no Metal Pete here. Um, Metal Pete was unavailable today, and I have so many fans to get through, and uh, Metal Pete's on. No, I'm unavailable next week. He's unavailable today. I'm unavailable. He's unavailable today. I'm unavailable next week. <coughs> I'm gonna try to get through at least three tonight. <coughs> we'll see how that goes, and um, more if I have time. And then I'm going to try to do two every day between now and the next time Metal Pete comes. Um, that I don't have something scheduled. So it's been, first of all, not tomorrow, because I have stuff tomorrow. Not Sunday, because I have stuff Sunday. <clears throat> Monday, I'd have to look at a calendar. Tuesday, I'd have to look at a calendar. Wednesday, no. Thursday, I think I'm free. Friday, I'm no. Saturday, no. Sunday, no. You get the idea. So... <coughs> we'll see <coughs> if Metal Pete's free on one of the other days that I'm free besides Friday, then maybe we'll try to make that happen. <coughs> but in any case, I mean, if I can just get through <coughs> two a day on the days that I'm free, that'll help with the backlog a lot. So we'll see. Um, so the whole time I've been talking, you're probably sitting here wondering, why is there a cheap little Laguna on the test rig? So <coughs> if you follow my videos for a long time, you know, I've always talked about wanting the UFO motor Laguna. And this is it. And the reason, um, I saw these all the time as a kid because Menard sold them. I wanted one for my playhouse when I was a kid, but my dad wouldn't buy it. Then when my uncle uh, Paul built his greenhouse, I suggested he get one of these. And by the time he went to Menard's, they were already selling Heritage. So he got a little Heritage instead. Um, <clears throat> but I found a lot of other Lagunas. I found these in white, and I, what I wanted specifically was brown with the UFO motor, or pancake motor, or wide motor, whatever you want to call it. And that's what this is. Um, we were just talking about Walmarts in another video. My childhood Walmart had two of these in the foyer, uh, exactly like this, except the stencil side was showing, um, <clears throat> which of course I would have shown, but this is how it came. Um, there was an art gallery in kind of a near downtown neighborhood that had two SMC A52s in the front part and then a row of four of these in the back, like a straight line, blade tip to blade tip. And it was really, I thought it was really cool. But the main reason I wanted one of these <clears throat> is because um, when I was doing 12 wings, this was gonna be my fan where the little blender fan ended up. This was gonna be in the lower <clears throat> ceiling pocket in the um, first floor, the bottom floor. <clears throat> and I couldn't find one. I asked other collectors, and I checked habitats, and none turned up. And actually, this is the first I've seen one of these um, since then. Um, there's actually, I think there's one that turned up on Marketplace maybe a couple hours away in the past few months. That's the first time I've seen one. <clears throat> I toyed with asking them if they would ship it to me and paying the packing and shipping, but I figured it's still a cheap fan like this wasn't worth packing plus shipping plus the fan cost. Because uh, these are a fan that sold for 20 bucks new one, and they're nothing special as a collector. I just haven't seen one in so long. So I just happened to be traveling on Tuesday, and I stopped at, I think, the first Habitat that I've been at uh, since the pandemic. Because uh, I try to avoid going in public, you know, if not necessary, both because of my health conditions and because of, you know, COVID safety. But I wasn't going to travel to a out of state and not stop if they were open. And, of course, the Habitats are doing the safety precautions just like the grocery stores and everywhere else. So, they had this for 20 bucks. So, you know, <clears throat> kind of hard to beat that with a stick. Um, if anybody really badly wants it, let me know and I'll sell or trade it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it for a future install. Um, it's not my favorite Laguna variation, but it's just one that I'd wanted and hadn't been able to find. Again, for that 12 Wings install. Um, my favorite Laguna variations, of course, have the lower canopy. But... I think I like this best of the ones that doesn't have the lower canopy because it just looks weird to me if if it doesn't have the lower canopy than having the brass switch housing on the brown motor. Um, there's the white version of this with the smaller motor in the back at Habitat, which I really like, but I wish it had the bigger motor. Um, and that one and this one have a weird thing in common, which is that the blue wire goes to the motor and the black wire goes to the light kit. In both cases, I couldn't figure out why they didn't work until I... Uh, looked and actually opened up the switch housing and followed the wiring. <coughs> Bear with me, guys. You know I'm trying. So, um, here's low. 
<clears throat> now, if I remember correctly, these actually draw more current on low than on medium, but we'll see. It's not an egregious low speed. It's a little fast, but it's, you know, a small fan, so what do you expect? It's a small, cheap fan. And it's obviously uh, coil tap speeds because there'd be no room for a uh, capacitor in that switch housing besides the run capacitor. I'll have to take Metal Peach Roll as the mad chewer. What do I call him? The loud chewer? today because he's not here and i have a salad i'd like to think i don't chew as loud as metal pete but you guys can tell me i don't know whose idea it was to put pasta in salads and i specifically told him no pasta but there's still pasta in my salad okay get a good look at my back off high medium <clears throat> yep, it's negligibly less on medium. That's just the way these coil taps work. And the power factor is higher, though. So maybe less current. But it's not less watts. Did I get that right? Pretty sure. <clears throat> Let's just double check. That low? 32. Yeah, power factor is lower. So it's more current with fewer watts on low. And here's high. Really wish the stencil was showing. It's all about the same uh, current draw. That thing really moves some air for a small fan. <clears throat> it's solidly in the spinner motor hunter category, by which I mean the 52 inch spinner motor hunter <clears throat> equivalent. SMC makes junk, but it, they make good junk. I wish Dayton Lascos were built like SMCs. Oh, says so a power factor one. Yep. Okay, so while it spins down, I'm going to eat my salad and drink my water, and hopefully my chewing is not uh, on metal peat levels. Was he gone last week, too? I can't remember. I know um, he had a metal show to go to or play in. I think, I think he was just attending. I think he was just supporting um, one of these weeks, but I can't remember if it was last week or the week before. Him and I actually hung out all day on Sunday, but we didn't do fan stuff. Uh, another musician friend of mine who sometimes plays at my church, and if you look at my videos from Sunday, he was our guest drummer at church. His name is Buck. Um, Buck was holding the stage lights that came out of 12 Wings Attic. No, sorry. Metal Pete had the stage lights that came out of 12 Wings Attic in his storage. And the idea was that <clears throat> Buck has a sound company. So we were going to give the stage lights to Buck, and, um, but Buck had COVID. I can't remember who had COVID first, Metal Peter Buck. Both of them got COVID around the same time, and so they couldn't meet up to exchange the stage lights. And um, so uh, after he played at my church Sunday, I invited him to come get the stage lights. And him and Metal Pete met for the first time and formed a nice bromance because uh, they are both drummers. Where are we? There we go. A little reverse switch <clears throat> wonkiness. <clears throat> so we hung out all day on Sunday, the three of us. And um, Buck saw Metal Pete's practice space and studio and storage. Metal Pete saw Buck's practice space and studio and storage. Then they both came back to the church and uh, helped me fix up the drums at my church. They needed new heads and some other tweaking. And uh, <clears throat> Eric's not a drum tech. He's just a drummer. Eric's the regular drummer at my church. He doesn't really do drum maintenance. <clears throat> but both Metal Pete and Buck are drum techs in addition to drummers. So they... Uh, Same in forwards and reverse, which, um, now that I think about it, that's what I should have expected because, uh, <clears throat> I 
with the coil taps, there's no way that it uses capacitor reverse. It has to use coil reverse. So, of course, it's going to be the same forwards and backwards. Okay, I'm betting this starts on one. <clears throat> if not one, then two. Because this is a very low current draw, small fan. Was wrong about one. Okay. Three. <clears throat> I'm guessing this would be my low speed. You know, I like a little bit of an aesthetic low. Alexa, garage fans level one. Okay. Did that do anything? I don't think that's that's fixed yet. Alexa, garage front fan level one. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be my low speed. I'm just trying to compare it to the aesthetic speed speeds on the other fans, but I think Alexa still hasn't fixed that glitch, and I haven't tried to fix it myself. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, that's... I might even go down to two, honestly. That's a little on the fast side to be aesthetic. Okay, four. I think I I think I stopped the small... The, I was going to call it a blender, but there's multiple blenders. Street blader. You guys hear Samson? My neighbor's cat. He's outside crying to be let in. Five. Five, I think, is going to be my medium. So like a two, five, I guess, or a three, five, or at least a medium low. So let's say two, five, and then uh, seven would be your medium high. Let's see how that pans out. Six. <clears throat> seven, not bad for medium high. Actually, doing a making a two five seven might actually be a decent control for this. Eight, eight's fine too. So three five, eight, nine. A little too close to high for a good medium to me. Ten, we're not over, but again, it's just closer than twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. I wonder if this is going to be one of those ones that never actually goes over. It just gets closer and closer. Let's see there. That's twenty. Forty. Yep, never actually goes over. Just inches closer and closer. Now the real question is going to be how this does in the solid state because some SMCs act super weird on solid state, and they. Uh, I can already tell this isn't one of the super weird ones because the super weird ones, when you have the solid state control all the way like as low as possible, they're loud and still going fast. So this isn't that, but based on that, I'm going to guess living room quiet. Oh, I hear it already. So far, pretty quiet, though. I'd say it's bedroom quiet. Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Zero to high time. There's a joke to be made in there, but I won't make it. What? Oh, I forgot to turn the solid state off. Okay, so there's that slight in rush. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay definitely gonna do one more like i said i'm trying for three and uh that one went smooth enough that uh i know i can do the second one we'll see how much energy i have left after that keep watching